what's up guys welcome back to my channel where i talk about men's fashion and vintage fashion yeah this period you're going to see me a lot because this quarantine is giving me time to create more ideas and videos for you guys so so guys today we're going to talk about a pair of shoes that I already talk, talked about in one of my recent videos was on my shoes collection i will leave it a link here or up here so today we're going to talk about the history and how to style loafers The first loafers were made in 1874 when a Biscop shoe company that produced them as a country house for the royal family was worn mostly from King George. At the start of the 1900s, a shoemaker called Nils Gregorossan Terange, based in Norway, produced his pair of loafers inspired from the pair of shoes that King George used to wear. These loafers had also some designs similar to the Berg shoe. Around the 1930s, loafers became very popular in fashion. In 1934, G.H. Bass started making loafers that are called regions. Their main feature was the added strip of leather across the saddle with a diamond cutout. Mainly a summer shoe, then it became popular all around Europe. During the 1950s, regions started to be called penny loafers. One of the stories around this name is that prep school students would insert a penny in their loafers to make a fashion statement, or to use it to buy candy or to use a payphone. These shoes became the main shoes of prep school students and uni students. If you want to know more about the preppy movement and style, I will leave a link about the second episode of Soap Cultures Fashion where I talk about it. In 1966, Gucci added a metal strap to the loafer, and the model became very popular during the 1970s and 1980s businessmen Wall Street fashion. The tassel loafer emerged during the 50s and they were worn among students in prep schools became more associated with business because they were worn with suits. The kitten loafers also emerged in the 50s and became mostly popular with mods. I have an episode also about it, I will leave the link here. And skinheads, they originate from Scotland. So guys, now that we know about the history of loafers, I want to add a new section that I never did before on this channel. I, will talk, I want to talk about some outfits that I found on Instagram that I really really like. So let's start with my friend Vuk that is called Cult of Brando on Instagram, is from Sydney, uh, check him out and I like his outfit with loafers, especially this one with this uniform because I really like the pattern and also the rings give a little bit of details and then we have this other one that is more a preppy look with the green jacket, the striped socks and the khaki trousers and I really really like it because the colors they go well together and then we have the uh, black shirt with these black trousers, the white top tank and loafers is a solid fit then you have my friend Famous Roy I think he has one of the best collection of loafers in the entire world I love all his models of loafers and also he has other, and also he has other shoes that I really like so you better check out his feet and then we have my fave boss Tom that he really loves 70s outfits and on this one he has like this uh, leather beige coat with the green trousers and then the squared loafers and I really like the vibe of this fit and also the glasses are so cool and then we have this other fit that is more comfy casual with this black jacket this light blue trousers and the gray shirt is really comfy and at the same time casual so it's like it gives a relaxed vibe for less we have Adrian Hilton yes I think is one of the best out there and this outfit I really, really like it the details on the jacket are amazing the shirt it has that vintage vibe that I really like and the loafers are the iconic Gucci loafers I can't say anything about that they are really cool and he nailed it now I'll show you my outfit that I did around the 80s business world <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
guys hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you will know when i put my next video and guys share too because i'm almost there at 1k and share share and share i'm really happy about it i'm preparing something special as i told you and i will see you very very soon in one of my yeah. uh -huh.